Hello everybody and welcome back to the Age of Engineering. We are back and we are ready to roll today. Alright, so last episode I made a little excursion into the nether and got that, got a, got a bunch of blaze powder that we needed to make our blast furnace. So, and that is the first thing that we are going to be doing today. So I'm going to run around and quickly grab all of those materials real quick. But yes, so I did that. Um, we got all these to make the blast bricks, the nether brick, the slag, the net, the um, blaze powder. I did end up only getting eight blaze rods in the end before I left, but that gave me more than enough enough blaze powder and some extra blaze rods. So that is very good. Um, so we get did that. Uh, besides that, I don't think very much has changed off camera. Uh, I'm pretty sure we had this many solar panels last time, and I haven't done too much. I have gathered some resources, uh, refined some of them, put some ores through the macerator, and done some of that stuff. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I've actually done off camera. I haven't. I've tried not to do too much, but yeah I've also been busy so I haven't had a whole lot of time but I tried to get done some things some more tedious tasks and yeah so uh, sorry about that guys I had to sneeze alright so uh, we now can make our 28 blast brick that we need for the um for the slag no the the blast furnace that's it and we actually have enough stuff left over that if I get after getting some more slag I can uh, make another one which will be very nice I'm sure I can guarantee we'll probably need another one so I've decided I'm just gonna set it up right here uh, as you can see I have built a little wall for a pathway eventually to go up to the top because what I think would be nice would be pretty cool is if I put blat put up uh, windmills up there um, particularly the uh, immersive engineering ones I think that would look pretty cool so uh, that's that I actually need I don't have my hammer in my backpack do I nope I should put my hammer in my backpack I should put my hammer into my backpack uh, there you are so, but yeah, I was thinking putting windmills up there and then running the power down to my various buildings and machines, uh, which would be a nice way for power. And now we have our blast furnace. Fantastic. So now I need to go and grab, uh, I'm going to grab a stack of iron and grab some coal coke and that, and we can get this on the go, making a bunch of steel for us. So I think we're going to end up with a lot of slag left over, is how I'm seeing this turning out. So, yeah. But yeah, I wanted to dig this up, because this is, uh, I like this better. I like this better than the small uh, industrial craft one. The industrial craft one's not bad, though. It just uses a lot of power, which I suppose is probably better. It might be better better than this because this um because this blast furnace literally uses one cold coke to make one steel and that's a lot so i'm not sure i'm not sure exactly which is more efficient um but i think i think i'm going to use the blast furnaces just because they're bigger and they're cooler no offense to industrial craft i just they just look at this thing it's huge and when we can reinforce it with lead I believe I think we I believe we reinforce it with lead um use yeah reinforce oh no we reinforce it with steel that's a little expensive but yeah once you once you reinforce it it looks really cool once you reinforce it and it's all set up and good for automation too and actually this definitely cooks a lot faster because we already have one steel it goes a lot faster than this thing did that's a that's a good payoff I think so having it cook a lot faster all right so that is that out of the way so uh, next up on the agenda today is making some RF power 
so that we can use the calculator and move on in the calculation age. Because now the industrial age is fully completed because we have a blast furnace, which is very nice. All right. So in order to get this power, I believe what we're going to do is we're just going to make a survival generator to start off with. Um, these other ones probably would be more efficient in terms of resources, but you know what? I'm done with efficiency. Not really. I'm, I'm very much aware of when I'm wasting resources and I try not to, but I want to, I, I, fi I think in this campaign, because it's the age of engineering, I want to not be wasteful, but be a little bit more careless. We're, ma we're making an industrial empire in this is the plan is turning this small little island into an industrial powerhouse to feed the economies of the world that's out there with goods and different things. That's kind that's kind of ish the end goal. I have no idea what exactly we want to end up making. Um, but you know, if you guys have any ideas on something that's not super expensive, but is like attainable, um, to like set up an automated factory to just churn out something, then that I think would be pretty cool. Um, so if you guys have any ideas on that, then please let me know. But in the meantime, let's get back on to what we were doing. And that was making a survivalist generator. So we need redstone, a lot of cobblestone, uh, some steel and a piece of copper. So we've got all of those stuff back in the base and the crafting hut. I think I think I might call this Tinker's Hut because that's basically what I'm using it for mostly. I'm also using it for storage, obviously, but it seems it's got all the Tinker stuff in it. It's got the furnace right there. Oh, this is something that you guys haven't seen. Um, I set up a redstone clock with a lever on it so I can turn it off if I want to. But I also, but I've set this up and you guys would have seen this when I came over here and grabbed the iron, but I set this up so that we can put stuff in here. I haven't gotten automation going into the furnace yet, but I've got it coming out, which is nice. So I've been get working on, uh, that's how I've been refining resources mainly. I've been macerating them up and then putting them into the furnace to and automatically having them come out so yeah that's nice all right so uh two redstone redstone's actually we're under a stack of redstone that's quite a bit of redstone used up so we need a furnace got that redstone oh wait nope wait i need to make the engine the engineering thing what's this called it's a steel mechanical component so there we go we got our steel com mechanical component and there is our survival generator. So this will generate RF for us by putting coal in, coal and or coal related products, I suppose. Um, I need to clear out those barrels. I still have a lot of creosote oil in case you guys didn't notice that, a lot of it. So let's grab some of that. And I have the power cube and the calculator in here. So I suppose we can just set it up over here for now. So we put the generator there, put the power cube there, and we put the calculator in that. So now if I put one in here, it will go in here, and we will feed our calculator, which is nice. All right. And you run for 13 minutes? No. Yeah, 13 minutes? I don't know how long you run for. But this is now full up, so that is now ticking up, which is nice. So now we have our calculator. Now if I right click on it, uh, we have this. So by putting stuff in there, you will get other things out. Um, if I hit use, yeah. So we got all of these recipes that are attainable now. Reinforced stone is cobblestone and logs to get four, or you can use regular cobblestone and planks to get one. Uh, just loads of stuff. We can reinforce dirt, enriched gold. Now I'm sure we are going to need most of these. So let's go ahead. Now that we've got this all set up and squared away, 
Yeah, it looks like it runs for 13 minutes. That's a lot. And this will store up some power for us. So, uh, in the guide, what do we have to do next? So, to progress further, you need the Atomic Reconstructor from Actual Editions. Per difficult, it's for, from Actual Editions. Peer difficult, it's allow always on. Per default, it's always on. You can trigger the redstone mode uh, to make the, oh, okay, yeah. So we need to make the empower now in order to move on. So, um, empower. So in order to make this, we need display stands, iron casing, a double battery, and resonant crystals. Wait, hold on. Hold on, let's close that gate so nothing walks in. The atomic reconstructor, not the empower. The atom, I was about to say because this is the next thing that we need, yeah. So we need enriched gold, we need reinforced iron, and an iron casing. The iron casing is advanced machine block or machine casing. I'm guessing the machine casing is the one we'll have to make. Burnt quartz and iron. And carbon plate advanced alloy. Ugh, that's all really expensive. What's the other one cost? A machine block and advanced alloy and carbon. Oh no, that's not. Advanced advanced alloy ingot. Yep. So we need to make advanced alloy. All right, that's gonna be fun. Fun, fun, fun. All right, so it's um, reinforced iron, bronze and tin, brass and tin. Suppose we could use brass. No, brass requires gold. We'll have to use bronze and tin. Oh, zinc. Could use zinc. I don't know if I have any zinc. Brass, bronze, tin, tin, zinc. Um, nickel. Ooh, that's it. Nickel. There's an idea. We'll use nickel for these. Nickel, brass, and aluminum. Ooh. That could be something. All right. Well, I guess we should probably start getting these to uh, getting these together, shouldn't we? Let's go on and go to bed and see what we have and what we need, because that would be a good way, to, a good place to start. All right. Uh, there are monsters nearby. Up there, it's a creeper. And I have no arrows. So that's great. That's great. That's the problem when fighting uphill against a creeper, is they tend to blow up. Alright, well, now we got a zombie we'll have to kill. We might be fighting this night, guys. There's another one. If I take out these guys, I should hopefully be able to sleep. And then at least some of the baddies will burn. The bed. And we're up. Alright, so... Throw that in there because I don't need it. Give me that dirt because I want to try and fix this a little bit. I'm not going to bother fixing the whole thing. Just going to uh, even off the edges. And put some there. All right. That'll 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 do for now. I can maybe fix that later. Or you leave it like that. We'll see. We will see. All right. So we need gold. We need... So we need gold. The reinforced iron is stone and iron and re reinforced stone, which is cobblestone and wood. So I can make some of that right now. Cobblestone and wood. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just make a let's make a stack. I'm sure we can do with having a stack of reinforced stone. Um, I didn't use very much power out of this. Uh, enriched gold, enriched gold, 
Enriched gold dust. Gold and redstone makes four. So that's good. Doesn't use a lot of gold to make that. So one gold, one redstone. Throw those in here. And that will make us enriched gold. And then I need four iron there. And one, two, three, four. Make those. So there's the reinforced iron. So we've got all of those. We got all the basic components. Now we need uh, burnt quartz I ha can make easily. The advanced machine casing, we need carbon plate, which is raw carbon mesh, which is raw carbon fibers, which is coal dust. Um, yeah, it looks like all coal. Okay, so we need to smash up a load of coal. So coal is going to be a very much needed resource I'm taking. I'm per seeing um, I wonder, can I use you in the macerator to get anything? Coke dust, which can be used to make hydrated graphite dust. Um, and used in the arc furnace. Neither of those I need. Alright, so we're going to smash up. We're going to put a whole bunch of coal into the macerator. I'm going to move these down because I have a lot of tin. So we're just going to pulverize a half a stack of coal. So there's that. We also need reinforced iron. That's just iron in a furnace. A refined iron. I could do that, actually. Huh. Steel plates. Advanced alloy plate, basic machine casing is just iron plates. All right, let's go grab a stack of iron because I'm sure I could do with having a stack of iron. We're probably we're gonna need steel as well, so let's just grab iron, all the steel. Let's grab the copper. That actually I've got a stack of copper and a stack of tin in here, don't I? Uh, copper. I don't have tin. I have some aluminum though. Um, let's see. Do I have... I have lead, silver, nickel. I do have some nickel. So we're going to smash up that nickel use. Cook you. Grinder. You don't work in the macerator. No. Only in the crusher. It looks like I get two burnt quartz out of it. Or the sag mill. No, the alloy smelter. I don't. Use. That can cook up, though. But it's be easier to just use the crusher. But for now, I need four of these. Do I have? I have trees in there, so we'll put those in there. Cook those up. All right. Well, um, I don't think we're going to be able to do this this episode. In fact, I can pretty much guarantee we're not going to be doing this this episode. Um, I, I really want to figure out which of these is more is more takes less resources so let's see you require one advanced alloy two advanced alloy two carbon plates and just double cooked iron that's not that expensive the other one requires steel plates as well and iron plates so you know what I think actually we're gonna go with the tech reborn casing the tech reborn machine block because it does still require advanced alloy and carbon, but it does not require the steel. So I'm thinking that's where we're going to go. And this reinforced iron is just cooking iron, which I can do. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to, I think I'm going to get the resources together in the episode, get everything together to make the uh, advanced machine block. Advanced alloy, carbon, advanced alloy, advanced alloy ingots. The compressor, advanced alloy ingot is mixed metal ingot cooked. Mixed metal ingot is a bunch of stuff. So yeah, I'm going to make a bunch of these mixed metal ingots. And it looks like I can use tin and, oh, that's invar. Huh. I don't know. I'll figure out what I'm going to make these advanced metal ingots out of. 
And I'll make those along with smashing up a whole load of stuff. And next episode, we will make the atomic reconstructor. Uh, I'll definitely, probably, definitely, probably, I'll see if I can get the time to go to the mining dimension and mine a whole bunch more resources because I'm going to need a lot more resources. Speaking of which, I'll probably make a hammer off camera too to do that. That would be a good thing. All right. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Till then, guys, bye-bye.